Now that spring is in full swing, there are plants blooming everywhere. And one of the most common plants to find is the humble dandelion. Now, most people see dandelion as a harmful weed, but dandelions are actually quite innocent and lovely little plants. They're one of the first food sources for bees, as well as a food source for humans. Dandelions are rich in nutrients such as vitamin A, C, and D, as well as zinc, iron, and magnesium. Dandelions can help soothe inflammation, aid in digestion, and detox your liver. So today, let's put this little plant to some use and make something yummy out of it. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make dandelion jelly. I will be making two batches, one using fruit pectin from the store, and another using the pectin found in apples. So first things first, you need to harvest your dandelions. So let's go outside and pick some dandelions. All right, so I'm outside and I found a nice little patch of dandelions here in this field. It's far enough away from the road so it won't have any toxic spill off. And I know for a fact that this field does not get sprayed by any pesticides. So that means these dandelions should be nice and healthy to use. So what we're gonna do is you don't want any leaves. You just want the head of the dandelions. You just pop like that. You can pick the stem off just by pinching it off. And you just want the dandelion head like that. Now a good rule of thumb when you're harvesting plants is you pick one, leave two. That's how you harvest sustainably. That way you can leave enough for the environment, for the other animals, and for other people that might need to harvest some too. So remember, when you harvest plants, you pick one, leave two. Now we're gonna fill up my bag here and then head back inside. Now that we have our dandelions harvested, we want to get rid of any greens that are on them. The greens are quite bitter and that won't taste very good for a jelly. So you can see how it's got some green right here on the end. We're just going to cut that part off and save the yellow flowering tops. Let's take some clean kitchen scissors. And then you can take this little green bud, you can make tea with it. It's really good because these are still edible. You can toss them in your salad if you want. They're just a little bitter, or you can put them in compost. I'm going to be drying them and saving them for tea, so I'm saving them in a cup. Now this is the perfect time to catch up on some podcasts, listen to an audiobook, you can do this while you watch TV. Personally, I love listening to audiobooks. My favorite is The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini and read by Gerard Doyle. My family loves that book. All right, so now that we've got our dandelion yellow fluff from the flowers, our next step is to make an herbal infusion, so which is essentially just a really strong tea. We're gonna take about two cups of the flowers to about four cups of water, so it's a two to one ratio. Pretty much you just make like a really strong tea. So we're going to turn on the teapot here, let that boil, and then you could take a mason jar, or if you have a French press, like I do, you can use a French press. I already made some tea last night, so I can use it quicker for this morning. Because you have to let it sit overnight in order to get strong enough. So you want it to sit about eight hours to steep. Like I said, really strong tea. We're going to add our dandelion flowers to jar. And we're going to fill the jar about half because that'll be about two cups. Okay, so now we're gonna let our tea steep overnight. I'm just gonna set that to the side. And like I said, I had made some last night already. So we're just gonna strain it out. I'm using a French press, but if you're just using a jar like that, you can just use a fine mesh strainer. And we're gonna measure out about four cups. Now we're going to bring this to a boil over medium-low heat, uh, just medium heat, we'll do that. So now we've got our tea. We are going to add 
our apples, if you're using apples. Lemon juice, so just squirt. All right, we've got it to a boil now, and we're gonna let this simmer and boil until the apples get all mushy. And for the second batch, we're going to add powder pectin. So that way it'll be a clear jelly, whereas this will be more like a jam because it'll have the fruit chunk. We're gonna add our lemon juice, and then we're gonna add our pectin. And then we're gonna heat that up to a boil as well. Okie dokie, so our pots have been simmering for a while. The apples aren't quite mushy enough yet, they're getting soft, but we're gonna let this boil just a little bit longer. Whereas the pectin one, for the powder pectin, this one's ready to add the sugar. So we'll add about four cups of sugar. Gotta bring this back to a boil and let the sugar dissolve. Okay, so to help the apples mush easier, what I decided to end up doing is taking a sieve and scooping it up and mushing the apples with my spatula. Alright, our apple batch. It's got no more big chunks, it's all just a mush. Now I'll add our sugar to the apples. I'm going to only add about three cups of sugar because the apples are sweet and we'll add sugar already. Alright, we'll bring that back up to a boil, let the sugar dissolve. Gotta let this boil now, so that we can start canning. Oh yes, we got a nice thick syrup here, and it smells really good in here, it kinda smells like honey. Okay, we've got our canning jars all clean, they've been washed, and they're lined up ready to use. Our canning water is boiling, so what we're going to do, take some lids very carefully, I'll let them boil a little bit and get really hot. And then twist it tight. There we go. Alright, so I've got my jars here, they're all filled up, and you just push on the top and see if it clicks. If it clicks, it means they didn't seal. So we'll set that one aside, that one needs to get resealed. So what we're going to do, very carefully, put them upside down in our boiling water. So this will reheat the seals on them and not let the rubber melt again. Alright, these have been in the water for about a minute, two minutes, and very, very carefully. Take them out. Careful not to burn yourself. And then if we flip these over, dry them off a little bit. Aha! They are sealed. They no longer click. Now these just have to cool, and then we'll write dates on them. And we have our dandelion jelly. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and were inspired to create your own dandelion jelly. Let us know in the comments how it turns out, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye! Thank you.